So you can use the... Yeah. yeah. That's the remaining ones. Okay. You wanna... Yeah, we should start from 15. And yeah, who should... Should we have two lists? No, let's just make... Yeah, let's because, make because otherwise it would be like... I would have to make another one and maybe we just go with one placement. <laughs> yeah. I, I feel like we can go with one. So the lowest are probably this this guy. Wisro, Duck, Shroomed Ice PPU. Swedish is probably top ten. This is probably from what it what it will be but reverse. E uh, yeah, not not totally. Less. But it's pretty much arranged that way. Um who do you think is gonna be fifteen? I personally think Duck. I think Duck too. Yeah. I feel like he might have better results than PPU, I'm not sure. But yeah, especially since PPU was ranked higher last year, I feel like people will go with PPU yeah. over him. Then we have uh, Wistro or PPU, I guess. I feel like it should be PPU. Wistro has, I don't know, PPU. He he did beat Nuge King once. Yeah. He did do that, but I feel like Wistro overall have had a more solid year. Uh, he was being S fat multiple times. He was winning like three times in a row to Lucky, uh, and he mm. brought multiple uh, top six members to game five, and even beat it H box. Yeah. Is this what we think should be, or what we would rank? Yeah, that's true. We should ask. We should ask stream chat. Ch chat, do you want it for what we think should be the results, or what? Um, what we think it's gonna be. Like, are we going to predict? Or are we going to rank? Yeah, press 1 for what we think, press 2, predict what other predicted. Yeah. What do you think? Okay. Alright. <laughs> oh my god, so many people. Almost a thousand people now. Ah, uh, that's crazy. Okay. Thanks a lot, guys. Make sure to follow if you haven't done that. But okay. Then I actually might say Pew Pew instead. Yeah. I feel like Duck has been more solid overall this year. Oh, okay. Yeah. But yeah. yeah, also remember, guys, at least I haven't looked into the data. So my opinions here is 100% based on what I remember. Yeah, it's kind of the same for me. And... For these two, I, I don't really have an opinion, so it's like, yeah, I'm gonna go with what you said. Then Duck, then... Okay, so what do we do? We, it's either Axe, Swedish, Whistler, Oak, Shroom, or Ice. Mm. Uh, probably Whistler? I don't know if Whistler was better than Ice, or like, if he should be ranked higher. It's fairly fairly close one. They're probably the next two. Next two to uh, yeah. be ranked. I do remember Wizard was beating Ice, but it was a best of three. It was only one set. Yeah. But overall, I feel like he does much better against the top six. And but I'm not really sure if he has that many top eight placements. To be honest, I think Ice is probably better against the. So I think Ice is better against the non-top six players, and uh, Wizard was better against them. Yeah, that's true. That's true. What I would say though is like, I feel like Wisrope has gotten way closer, and maybe you can think of him as higher. But like, the fact that Ice beats like Pluff and other people more might rank him better, just because Wisrope, while he has done better, has his done better has mostly been taking game five. Yeah, that's Take, true. Taking people to game five instead of winning. So I think Wis, I think I would put Wisrope here, and then yeah, I could see that he has more bad losses as well. He has entered more, to be fair, yeah. but he has quite a few questionable losses. Yeah. Okay. Let's let's just go with this. We can't we can't argue too much. We're going half feeling. Okay. Let's. Okay. So now it's shroomed or wisrobe. No, no, no wisrobe. Shroomed Swedish axe. Ooh, this is a tough category. It's like I feel like you can make an argument for all of them. I think it based was, on what you look at. Yeah. I feel like Axe is 
Action Shroom both not done well. I would probably put Swedish above Action Shroom, so it's either of them. I don't know, like, I don't think Shroom does beat a single god has axed on that, ex except for me at... Uh, uh Mango at Genesis 3. Mm. I think he might have been beating uh, Mewtwo King at some point, since they have played. Or, that might have been 2015, but I feel like he had squeezed in a win against Mewtwo King. Yeah. And I... He might be up against Shroom as well. The thing is, like, I feel like Shroom is the most consistent out of them, but he has had by far the, like... Worst peak. Yeah, that's the thing. It's hard. It's very hard to rank because uh, I mean, you also have to value like if I was playing, if if we were like, oh, I was active. The fact that Axe beat me twice is very, very good. Now it's kind of like uh, I probably think I w could have lost to Shroom at those tournaments as well. Um, uh, but that's just my personal opinion. But I, I would probably say Axe higher. Uh, higher on the list than Shroom. Yeah. yeah, I agree. I would probably go with Shroom, to be honest. Yeah, it it is close though. It's almost like a tie right here. But I I feel like Axis has more wins on the board, and that's kind of important. Yeah. I guess it's worth to note that Shroom generally gets uh harder brackets because he was seated way above, and Axis was kind of seated like seventh, eighth. Entire year, and then as the year went on, his result got worse, but like the seeding didn't quite catch up to him. Yeah. Okay, we should turn down music. We'll pa we'll pause the music for now. Oh. Nope. Okay, so n then it's down to Swedish Sweet. or West Bowls. This is a tough one. And we have to con realize that we can't we can't count. Don't park. Yeah, that's true. That's true. And not Eden either. Not because Westbolt went there, but Swedish went there. Yeah. I don't know actually. Who, who has Westbolt beat any gods this year? Mango. Mango had Gobble, right? Uh, yeah, he did. And then he beat PP at Battle of the Five Gods. Yeah. Uh, but... Yeah, it's... It, it's hard to... I, I wouldn't really rank PP as, like, a power win. Yeah. And not at Battle of the Five Gods, at least. And then he traded sets with you, at least. Even though you won in the end. Yeah. That's true. Sw Swedish... What did he do to get high at, um... Big House? He almost beat Hungerbox there. He... Yeah, he almost beat Hbox. He got 9th losing to me in Hbox, and he ended up beating Shroomed, and... Outside of that, I'm not sure. He, you know, he beat Prince Abu as well, I know. Yeah, he but beat... I'm not sure if it was any... He beat my Taco beat. as well. Yeah, that's true, in Losers. Yeah. Hmm. I guess... West Bulls has so many bad losses though, that's the problem. Yeah. That's like, how high should we value that? This is, this is rough. I guess West Bulls probably has more top 8. Yeah, like what top 8s does Swedish have that was like at the very, very stacked tournaments? I'm not really sure if Yeah, you... I feel like Swedish is kind of the curse, the thing that I mentioned, that West Bulls, even if they beat the same people kind of, it's that Swedish is ranked lower or seated lower, like, and that's a big difference, like being seated sixth instead of twelfth or whatever, because Swedish throughout the year was seated very low, and then even if West Bulls didn't beat too many people, it still got like seventh, fifth a lot of the time just because uh, his seed was a lot better. Yeah, that's so very I, true, but it's so kind of like the the situation you created for yourself in yeah. a sense. But I do agree with your argument, but. I, would I don't know, I feel like at the biggest tournaments, when it counted the most, yeah. it feels like West Bulls, yeah. I, I on was, average, did better. I feel like Swedish didn't have as good of an early year. But he did beat Mewtwo King at that one tournament. Yeah, he double eliminated him, even. Yeah. For 2017, he might surpass West Bulls, maybe, but yeah. I, I would give West Bulls the edge here. Yeah, same. But I feel like 
even though they are like around like 8th to 11th, both of them, I feel like they're still two kind of bracket dependent players. Yeah, I would say the same. It's like that's kind of the theme of this of this ranking where like okay, so even Sfat and Plop were probably next can lose to basically anyone here depending on like yeah. they, they have a, some of them have a way higher win rate like maybe Sfat has a really good win rate against Sfat has and, lost to pretty much anyone Yeah, he, he's still, I think he could lose to Saltwolf, Lucky, Nun Nintendo S2J yeah he could lose to everyone here yeah S2J sure. might be his best matchup in there actually yeah but even then wasn't it like was it at Eden or something where he was down to and barely came back or is S2J mm, maybe yeah I didn't quite follow that tournament actually time zones like all these jumps <laughs> but yeah yeah, when you say it, like, yeah, when I look at Esfat, like, <laughs> he has been losing to West Bowls multiple times, losing to X. Yeah. Truly, it's a pretty good matchup for him as well, though. Yeah. Yeah, he lost to Ice a few times, losing to Wrist Robe a few times, lost to Duck at Summit. Pew Pew is probably a good one for him as well. Yeah. But I haven't really followed Like, he has good matches, but he has losses, probably, too. He could definitely lose to everyone, which is crazy. Like, it's never been that the, like, sixth or seventh players barely have better win rate against so many people and yeah uh P pbmd is unranked and a lot of people are saying or were like some people are saying that i should be seventh because i went to two tournaments i did not go to two tournaments one and even with like okay so first you have to ar the argument right like does it count as much when you're coming back from a long like do the first tournaments after you come back count as much to your worst rank even if you do count them like you know flat, you just take my placings and take S fats and plops. I still have better than them. Yeah, way better. Yeah, even compared to like, like even if you don't value that at all, because neither of them have any majors. Yeah, you have your peak is way higher and your low is low is not as bad yeah. as them either. Yeah. What was my lowest placement? It was like EGLX. Yeah, EGLX ninth, and I think S fat had twenty. Wait, did you play seventh? I thought you made top eight. No, no, no yeah, that's a seventh. Oh no no summit summit summit! I got oh yeah, yeah yeah that's true. But that's, but that's still like not bad losses. Yeah. Like, who was the worst player you lost to this year? Like, um, uh, duck. Yeah duck. Pro, pro wait, okay so I lost to duck. I didn't lose to Ed, pew pew. Okay so, yeah duck is the only one here. I can't think of anyone else. I lost to axe. I yeah. lost to ice. Those are my worst losses. So your worst loss was a person in top 15. Yeah. And S. Fat's worst loss is Reeve. And, yeah. Uh, and, uh, well, Gatsu, but I played Falco. Come on. E even Gatsu is way higher ranked than Reeve, okay? If you... <sighs> calm down. <laughs> calm down. Calm, calm down. down. Prof. Uh, yeah, that was a weekly, though. But, and I only lost, what, like, one set. But, yeah, you're right. Uh, if we count, if you go by weekly as well, we could look up a ton of people that have lost, like, weeklies. Because Melee Army doesn't count weeklies. Or, like, I guess it wasn't a weekly, it was, like, a kickstart. But that's pretty much our version of, like, it's a, it counts as much as um, the, like, SoCal locals and stuff like that. Yeah, I personally never value locals yeah or stuff like that as much but yeah the prof win it does exist it does yeah. exist but it's still it's still like the point it, still stands yeah against yeah. sfat at least or no actually against plop too because sane yeah. is yeah I, a bit lower than prof for sure melee army counts weeklies does it i thought it didn't i'm actually not sure I never filled in the ballot for like the actual ranking, so yeah. I haven't really checked up. <sighs> yeah, e even then, like, there's not really an argument. Just if you look at the win rates of like Plop versus any of the gods, he has like a losing win rate against basically anyone, I think. Uh, Plop, you mean? Yeah. E except for Hbox, but the only thing that puts him ahead is two 
sets on a local. So yeah. he's 3-2. Uh, and yeah, two of the sets he did win was locals. Yeah. But still, I would... For 7th, I would put SFAT. Like, yeah. I know quite many people in chat. Like, this is a very... Uh, how do you say? Debatable one for a lot of people. Some people say SFAT. Some people say PLUB. Yeah. But... Esvet's peak might have been tiny, tiny bit higher, but he has, on average, like, much worse results. Or, not much, but a bit worse results. And, I don't know, I just feel like Plop is rare that he lost to players yeah. significantly worse than him. Yeah. Yeah, West Balls, why are you salty, dude? Because he, he beat Esvet, but he still got ranked on her. But we don't even count Dome Park. You have to... Account for that, and even then, you only place one higher. Yeah, and you didn't beat anyone except for like him to like you know, like you didn't beat a god that tournament. I feel like SFS is still clear, clear, like in a mini tier above West Boss because Plop and SFAT are the only ones here who don't have like abysmal uh win rates against every single god. Basically, everyone else is like like one five, one six kind of right, like matchups. Um, but yeah, like, I don't really see that, like, I know that ranking me is hard, and I would put myself at fifth if, like, because I think Miliodami rankings, as they are now, don't really account at all for, like, oh, this player is actually better, but he was an actor, whatever. They just take results, and then you, like, which of these results mean the most? Yeah, it's more of a strict formula. Yeah, exactly. Like, you don't, like, if people were to, like, oh, who is the overall best player, or whatever, like, who do you think is most likely to win a major in 2017 then like it would probably be like oh maybe i'm higher than music king but like for the for this there's no argument really that i should be higher than music king because this he has more wins and he has like attended a lot more and dome park does not count here so uh ugc is the last tournament that counts so yes i will put myself at fifth but yeah, we, we talked about this already. Like it's it's all it's almost like I don't want to rank myself because it's just it's kind of hard. Yeah, that's one of the reasons I I never do these kind of lists, regardless yeah. of how I do, is because I don't want to rank myself either. Yeah. Um. Uh, yeah, I mean it's very hard. It's also like, for me, you know what I always think is like, oh, so I came back for Gommel. But I had a couple bad uh, losses in the beginning when I just came back, and then I started doing better. And then the same thing happened for um, the winner, where I ended up winning in Dome Park. But that's like that's also kind of if you look ahead, you can't really count that for ranking. So rankings for me, you know, it's not really it's not that interesting to me because it's very simple. Usually, you just take the results, and then you there's. There should be a right answer most of the time. There are some close cases, of course, but I feel like like I'm the right answer for fifth. Music King is the right answer for fourth. Mango is the right answer for third. And Hunger Box is the right answer for second. And you're the right answer for one. But like, if you try to argue a bit more, then it doesn't. Then it's a bit more fluid. But yeah, I, I think we all agree on the rest. Yeah, I would say so as well. I feel yeah. like... After West Balls, no, after Swedish, that was the last real placement. Oh yeah, where it was like debatable. Yeah. In terms of like how millet on me uh, ranking works. The thing with this year over like many other years in the past was that it was more debatable towards the end than it has been in a long time. Yeah, like it, Mango could have passed Hungerbox if Hungerbox placed first like two tournaments or something yeah and okay if i if i placed better at dreamhack ugc and summit i could have also like maybe not first but depending on how everyone else plays but i could have still have gone like second or third yeah which is which is interesting i think i think the race was a lot closer even though the rankings right now are not debatable the gap between them are just a few tournaments but those tournaments are still big enough to where it's not really debatable it could definitely be differently next year where it's like 
they're very clear who's number one, but like the rest of them are like complete opinion, which is kind of war how it was last year, where like me or Hungerbox at second was basically a tie, and then you either valued like wins or consistency more. Yeah, I feel like it's not really a, a clear cut definition. What should be valued more? Yeah. Like every year when these kind of discussions comes up, I feel like a lot of people change side. Used to go with like their favorite player. Yeah, I know. Like, I, oh, this year head to head matters more. This year peaks is more important. This year consistency is more important. This year uh, your worst placement is yeah. important. It's like, it's so many like yeah. 10, 15 random arguments. That, that was definitely the thing where like 2015, it was like, oh, Mango got 17th. So now we don't count the worst placement. Now we count wins. Yeah. And now. Oh, well, about one, and then like it's just it's just very apparent that some people will just shift around like what they value to make their best player the best, or like it's not even the best someone they want, but it's like I feel like Mango or Armada or Hungerbox is better, so I will make the argument, like, I will find data to support this instead of like I will look at the facts and then I will decide who's the best. Yeah, that was like I remember that back when it was close because it was like. People made like uh, averages, like average placement of like uh, me and Hungerbox when they try were trying to compare, and it was like when you average a placement one, like the difference between placing one and two is just one, right? Yeah. So it's a, as big of a difference as two or three, but in reality, that's not how it works because if you're one, you could have placed like you know, however many places better, but there were no one else that you could beat. So it's like one is worth w like almost double a second for most like price money or point systems. But in that in those systems, for example, it was like, oh, one like average placements super punishes you for getting ninth, but barely rewards for getting first. Yeah, and then it doesn't take into account what players you lost to either. Yeah, exactly. Like so, if you happen to be like someone uh, makes an upset against you, and very unfortunately another upset happens and yeah. these two players has to play for nine like if you lost to uh, drug fox for example at evo 2015 you and mango would have played for nine yeah exactly it's like yeah it was one loss and then like oh these two players have has to play super early yeah that's so. that's what happened as well where uh they countered press star where i got ninth where i beat mewtwo king then I played SVAT, lost to SVAT, and then I lost to Mango. And it was like, oh, he got ninth. He's way less consistent than Hungrybox. Whereas, like, it is true, I did lose to SVAT, but, like, you have to look at it way deeper. And it's really hard. Yeah. I, someone asked us, or Westboss asked us, what do we think PP? Honestly, it, it, I would not rank him. Yeah, no, no, no. So, what is he going to be ranked next year if you had to make a prediction? I would put him eight or nine. If he, no, okay, this is really hard because I would actually put him unranked again. Yeah. <laughs> if I had to bet my life on it, I'm sorry, people, but I would not rank him because I think there's probably a higher chance of him going to three tournaments than ten. Yeah, no, I agree. Some people ask me if I had to predict like one tournament where PB makes his return. Yeah, and it has to be a tournament. You can't say he never returns. Yeah, and then I said big house. Yeah, and that if that would be the truth, he doesn't even have that much time to enter tournaments. Yeah, probably not enough tournaments to get ranked. Yeah, I hope uh, PPMD uh, proves me wrong. But if he does need more time, he should take more time. Yeah. But yeah, I, th I think if he enters a tournament, he should be seeded very low because you should only get seeding if you prove yourself. Like, yeah. if we don't know, then you should never get the benefit of the doubt as someone who hasn't entered. It's like, oh, should PB be seeded above Axe? Axe has entered like 50 tournaments. PB has entered two. Axe gets like, if we don't know, then Axe gets ranked higher. And then you keep going down at like, then eventually you get to like maybe like, oh, let's say Prof. Where it's like, oh yeah, PP has better wins even than those two wins, even in those two tournaments that Prof ever has. So he gets twenty fourth or whatever. Yeah, no, I agree. I just feel like, regardless of where we like where he would get seated when yeah. he does return, someone is gonna complain. Yeah, for sure. Because it's one of them. I mean, 
even though I think he gets deserves to get like low seeded, I would rather play seed thirty two than I would play P than to play PP like round one. Yeah. Because I think PP is more dangerous than those people because he's like a question mark, but you know that like you know the know, range for that. Yeah, you, you know like Sooth number thirty one like. His range is here. Peep is just like here. He could be even worse than 31. But he, he could also be over here where he's like super good. Yeah, yeah. I agree. Another thing. Someone, I, I just about, wonder how they're going to do it when he gets back. Like yeah. what top six member is going to have him like very yeah. early. Yeah. Okay. So someone else has if we wanted to put tears. I feel like this is really hard. I feel like <laughs> it's almost like you put a tear like here maybe i don't know they're like they're all a big tier there we go that's the tier yeah but i would divide it a little bit more yeah if, if we would make it more interesting i would probably have a gap between svet west balls yeah here uh, and then my boy adam still streaming after probably i got like... back from work Probably Got after to like throw the homie five for being a it's legend. It's very hard. Yeah, it's very hard. I feel like maybe here, maybe they get their own tier. Yeah. And then, then, then it's like maybe even down to like Nintendo or something, like Nintendo and above. Yeah, like this. No, one more. Nintendo should oh. probably be. Yeah, I'll probably put it like this. Some people are going to get very mad, I think. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like, like, oh. And now the stream chat loves this. Just because we had to make, like, the cuts. Now they love it. Yeah, we had to cut someone. This was the favorite moment of the stream. Because this was the only real decision we had. Yeah. <laughs> Most of them were like, oh, we don't know. This is like... This is like, can win a major. Ha d has, like one or two okay win rates against the gods loses to basically every god every time but has a good win rate against the above and this is like can beat everyone up until six and then this is like can beat some of them yeah because these people can all beat everyone up until here basically everyone has like one win and then yeah every plop could I'm not sure if Plop could lose to everyone, but Esfet can definitely lose to everyone. That's because Esfet has a bit bigger range. Yeah, no, I would agree. <laughs> West Balls. I will put myself in my own tier. You just never know the circus. <laughs> that, that is true. Put West Ball in his own tier. No. Yeah, one second. I was going to check. There was someone that donated, but I didn't see. Uh, Waffles, thank you for the $5. Thanks, dude. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think we're pretty much done. Yeah, I think so too. I think so too. Do, okay. Do you, the last question, because S5, no, because West Post in the, is in the stream and he said last year, that last year was going to be the year when Wes or Plop won a major. Do you think this year's the year where... Wait, wasn't it West Post that said that? Yeah, yeah, it was. Oh, uh, okay. Is, do you think 2017 is the year that uh, Plop, like... Someone else other than a god wins a major. If I can decide, no. <laughs> if I, I decide, I, no. I, I honestly don't think... Not a super major. Maybe like Shine... Like, sh well, Shine had a lot of entrance, but it wasn't as stacked. Like, I could see them win, winning like a Don't Park. Or like... At most, a tournament with three gods. Yeah. That's the biggest stretch, I will say. I, don't, I, 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 I think it's very unlikely. Of course it could happen. I mean... All of all of the gods could run into the one bad matchup and then take out each other and losers and then S Fat will play Mango in loser finals and then it would be two like non -go non gods in the grand finals. That could happen, of course, but I would say that the chance for someone other than the god winning is probably five percent or less. Yeah. A super major. <laughs> it's gonna be interesting though, like yeah. even though it still is like gaps and stuff. I feel like it had like decreased a little bit. Yeah, I, I definitely feel like it's decreased with more people going full time and stuff. And personally, I would want, even though I would never want to lose a tournament, like 
let's say I, I I didn't enter, I would prefer them to actually mix it up and have more people compete for number one. But yeah, I agree. Obviously, when I'm entering, I want one of the people, one of the top five, to win because I'm one of them. Yeah. But like, yeah, five. I, I would say five percent chance that it will happen, and not five percent every single major. Five percent for the entire year. Yeah, but yeah, that's a significant difference. Yeah. Because five percent for every super major when this this many super majors. Yeah, that's kind of low. Yeah, the gap feels smaller. It yeah. feels uh, smaller. Like more, as Levin said, more people have gone full time. It's more tournaments. Uh, more people, on average, are motivated. Yeah. So I feel like, and more tournaments is just a very big one. Yeah, that's yeah. a big one for sure. 